Hello, my YouTube family. Hope everybody is blessed and being a blessing to someone else. Today, I'm just going to finish off of Job, and hopefully we'll get to the end. I don't know how much data I got on this phone, y'all. I'm using the Obama phone, but hopefully I have enough data to go over the ending of Job. If not, I'll have to come back again another time because the lessons can be a little long with Job and the lessons that I give, you know, because I'm long-winded and, have, and, you know, the Lord be having his way through me. So hopefully, y'all, I'm so sorry for the people that's been waiting. Like I had Job, the one, and I said Job, the second part of Job, and now I'm on the third part or the fourth part. And they like, where is CCA with Job at? She didn't come with the ending, but I haven't forgot you. And, I w and I'm coming back right now with the ending of Job and what happened to him and how he was blessed much more than he was in the beginning and how, you know, God just, you know, set him up for a blessing. And sometimes he does that with us. He set us up so that we can be blessed out of our mess. Ain't God good, y'all? Okay, let's open up in a quick moment of prayer and then we'll get to the word. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word, God. We ask you to just have your way, Lord, in this broken vessel of clay today, God. Lord, we need you, Lord Jesus each and every day. Help us to stay in your word. Help us to have patience like Job, God. Help us, Lord, to just give everything to you. Surrender all, every situation, every problem, every illness, every circumstance, God. Help us, Lord, to trust in you, God. Help us, Lord, to just do your will, God, and stay in your word, God, because your word is spirit and in life, and we need your word every day, God. Help us to not just be a hearer, but a doer of your word. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for those that are saved, not saved today. They may come forward and be saved and accept you as a personal Savior, Lord. Because we know tomorrow is not promised to none of us, God. But let them say, what must I do to be saved today? For those that are backslidden, let, you, let them know that you are married to the backslide. And please woo them back in, Father, that they can come and also into the kingdom of God. We thank you, Lord, for the love, the joy, the peace you put in our lives, Lord. And everything, that all things work together for the good of those, Lord, that love you and call according to your purpose. Thank you for the word of God in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all, we're going back to Job. So y'all please turn to me to Job. And we're going to start at the second chapter here. I might have to get up for a minute because my neighbor is supposed to bring some bread over every Sunday. You know, and every other Sunday mostly. But my neighbor, he's a sweet old man. He always bring me bread. And then when I get money, I give him a soda because he loves his Coke. And so that's how neighbors should be, just helpers of one another. And that ain't just in the church and the body of Christ, but that's your own neighbor that you might not even know good. Or your own neighbor that's not in your religion or your denomination, but just a neighbor, somebody in need. Amen. And so when somebody asks you for something, just make sure that if you got it, be a blessing to them. Cause you never know how the Bible says that we entertain angels unaware. And we don't even know it, how God sometimes sends angels our way to see what we're going to do. So we never know. So just be aware of that. But anyway, y'all, we went already on Job and what happened and how the devil came and, and tempted Job and had permission first from the Lord to do it and how Job lost his fa his family, how Job lost his cattle, his sheep, his land, how Job was just, you know, devastated by all the losses. He went and, and you know, lost everything, everything that Job had. And Job was a wealthy man, y'all. He had so many, so many, many, many animals and all this acreage of land and everything. And so what happened was it was taken away. And we're at that point now where... It was taken away, and Job said, you know, everybody was like, you know, Job, just give up, you know. And Job said in, I love this verse, in 1 and 21, he says, And naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. It says, neither the Lord, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So he was saying, if God give it, he could take it away. It's not even mine. If God give it, he can take it away. I'm still blessed. If God give it, he can take it away. He'll make a way out of no way again for me. If God did it before, God will do it again. Because why? 
He is my father. He knows best. He is my Lord. He is my savior. I will trust in him. I'll do his heart. I'm going to trust in God. I'll do I'm going through. I'm going to trust in God. I'll do I'm hurting. I'm going to trust in God. I got grief. I'm going to trust in God. I got losses. I'm going to trust in God. I don't have the finances no more. I'm going to trust in God. I don't have the houses no more. I'm going to trust in God. Because in God, I trust. Because why? He is my Savior. He is my Lord. He is Jehovah Jireh, my provider. He is Jehovah Nisi, my banner. He is Jehovah Shalom, my peace. So I'm going to trust in God. And whatever he says and whatever he does, that's okay. Because though he slay me, and that's in here too, yet will I serve him. I'll come to that one too, y'all. Let me get to the word because I'll go on here, y'all. got it. I'm learning. I'm learning. Pray for me. (laughs) It says in 2nd Job, we'll start there. It says again, there was a day. This is the second time, y'all, when everybody came before the Lord. The Satan was there in their realm coming before the Lord, too. He says again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. See, Satan still knew who's Lord of Lord and King of Kings and all of that. He already knew that he wasn't a bag of chips and all that, that God was, okay? But he he came before and he even humbled himself to even be in the presence of the Almighty. But see, God said not to be ignorant of the devil's device. He knew what Satan was up to. It says, and the Lord said unto Satan, where has that come? From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro the earth and then walking up and down it. So he was walking up and down the earth, going to and fro, seeing who he can get, seeing who he can trick up, who's not praying, who's not fasting, who's not reading the word, who's not fellowshipping, who's not uh, talking about Jesus, who's not ministering to somebody else. He was up and down looking and, and, and seeking. See, God, see, he knows our weakness. Amen. He's like a, a lion ought to devour you, ought to steal, kill, and destroy. But God came that we can have life and life more abundantly in him. And it says, the Lord said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God, and he eschewed evil. He turns away from evil. He rather do good than evil. Even though evil, the, these little angel, the death, the death, not the death, but the the angel on his side of sin, and then one angel on his shoulder of, of the good. Y'all seen that little devil and the angel right there telling you to do this? No, do this, do that. He he said, "No, I'm not gonna listen to that voice. That's not of God." He listened to the voice of God. And he says to his servant, there it bind him in the earth, a perfect and upright man that feared God and eschewed evil. And still he holded fast his integrity. He said, all that stuff that happened to Job, he said, Job's still standing strong. Job's still trusting in me. I mean, Job that lost everything, but where is his faith that say it's in me? And then uh, although thou provided me against him, Thou moving me against him to destroy him without cause. He said, you ain't got no reason for that. But you was trying to destroy him without cause. But then Satan answered the Lord and said, skin for skin. Yea, all that a man have will he give for his life. He said, you know, you you, tried to come up and you came up and you're cooking everything else away. But come up against his life and see what he's going to do. Come up against his health and see what he's going to do then. And say now to the Lord, it says, say skin for skin, we're at that. It says, but put forth thy hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, behold, he is in thine hand, but thou save his life. He said, you can go ahead and mess with Job, but you can't destroy Job. Go ahead and do whatever plan you got to do. But you can't take his life because the life that, that that's in Job, I gave it to him. So you can't take his life, but you can go ahead and mess with Job if you want to. So went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job 
with some boils from the side of his foot and to his crown. From the top of his head to the bottom of his foot, feet. Job had boils all over his skin. He started getting boils on his skin. And I'm quite sure that's painful, y'all, with blisters and, and all the, you know, hurting and pain. And you don't know where all this, this bumps coming from. From the top of your head, you got bumped. Your hair falling out because of bumps. All your face is full of bumps. Your skin is full of like leprosy, y'all. He had bumps all over him. And he took him a boulder to scrape himself with all and he sat down among the ashes he said well what have i done now i must something i must have did to deserve all of this something i must have done or didn't do and joe was feeling bad because you know all these boils all the, he lost everything else the children the cattle the land and now he got boils all over all his finances gone and now he got boils all over him oh lord and dog, and I'm in the ninth verse, y'all. I'm reading sideways here because it's a little hard. Then said his wife, his wife was there with him, y'all. Wife, his spouse, you know, was supposed to be a part of his rib. She's there. And the devil was using her. And to him, does thou refrain, refrain my integrity? Does I refrain thy integrity? That means you're going to stand up here and still hold on to God after all this? He said, just go ahead and curse God and die. Go ahead and curse God and die. Because you done lost everything else. Now he over here trying to take your life with all these boys and swords and swords on you. And you still going to serve God? You still going to have integrity in him? You still going to trust in him? You still going to believe him? You still going to worship him? You still going to pray to him? You might well just curse your God and die, Job. This is his wife, y'all. This is his wife telling him that. You don't know how the devil can come to y'all today. He comes to those close to you as well as a stranger. He'll use anybody to get to you. So we can't be ignorant of his devices. And this is what he said unto her. Thou speak it as one of the foolish women speak it. What shall we receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. He didn't eat sin. He didn't see him with his lips. He didn't say nothing. He said, look here, woman, you know, we, you think that just because we serve in God that they ain't supposed to be uh, good and bad come? It's going to happen to the, the, the rain comes on the good, the rain comes on the bad, the sun comes on the good, the sun comes on the bad. So it's going to happen to us too. We got to go through something. He said those that are in Christ will suffer persecution. And so Job knew Amen. That no matter what happened here, I'm going to trust God. I'm not going to listen to those naysayers. I'm going to not listen to the peanut gallery. I'm going to listen to all them voices that's not of God. I'm going to trust in his word. I'm going to hang in there no matter what. And then we're going to go, y'all, jump to chapter 13 of Job on uh, the 15th verse. Oh, I love this. Job jumped there. Jumped there because he had all these boils. Remember, itching probably pulsing and, and stuff coming out of, y'all know what a sore can be a boil and some of that it, 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 it's all over him from the top of his head he's itching from the bottom of his feet boils that, and they don't tell him how deep they was y'all but let's go to 13 and 15 of Job he said though he slay me yet will I trust in him but I will maintain mine own ways before him he said though he slay me Though I got boils, though I lost my children, though I lost my land, though I lost all the animals, though I lost my finances, though I lost, you know, my reputation. Because, you know, who, who going to believe in that? You done lost everything. Now I lost my friends, the one that was around him. They wasn't even trustworthy because you don't know if they're telling you to, to go ahead and curse God and die like his wife did or uh, uplift. And they were just questioning, what did Job do to deserve all of this? And he says, but I will maintain my own ways before him. I'm going to stick with the Lord. I'm going to believe in him. I'm going to trust in him. Though he slay me, if he decide to take my life, I'm still going to trust God. 
If he decides today that I won't live here no more, I'm still going to love you, Lord. If he said today I won't be here no more, I'm still going to trust you, Lord. That's how Job was. He was dependent on the Lord. He said he didn't care. He didn't care what was going on, what was happening to his family, how much he had lost. He says, I love the Lord and I trust him. I trust him. I, though he slay me, though things are hurting, though things are going through, I'm going to trust the Lord. I'm going to believe in him. I'm going to believe in him and whatever he says. And y'all, it is 15 minutes now. And I don't want this phone to hang up. I'm going to have to come back. What happened, y'all, after this? Ooh, it's going to be so good. The ending. I'm going to come back with the ending, the finale of Job. So y'all, please stay tuned and come on back with me. I appreciate y'all for your, your subscribing. Please like this channel. Please share it with somebody else. Because we got a word going on here. It's fire. Shut up in your bones over here. So please come in my bones over here. And then for me to give the word to you. So it can be shut up in yours. So please come back with the finale of Job. Okay? Because we got a finale of what happened. This ain't all that happened with Job, y'all. Okay? So y'all pray for my strength in the Lord. And just just come on back next time. Okay? Just know that I love you. But above all, who? Jesus loves you. Till next time, God bless you.